Alright man, uh, it's raining outside, but like I promise you, quick, quick, quick before it starts raining. This is how to turbo your Maxima 3rd gen, okay, for a budget. Obviously you need your turbo. You need to buy, uh, this is three, 36 inches oil feed line that connects to a, what is it called, the sandwich plate, which I think is the easiest thing to do instead of tapping into the, the oil sending unit, I mean the oil uh, sensor. So you need the oil feed line and it's going to connect to the sandwich plate. It's an adapter that connects to the oil pan, the uh, oil filter. All right, I got this um, inner cooler off of eBay. It's a universal one, and with a couple of bends. Um, here's the inner cooler. This side is fit perfect. I have the pipe to get rid of that elbow, for it could be a nice one solid piece all the way up. It goes behind this uh, BMW headlights. Um, the inner cooler is probably probably like to this high um, you just have to cut some of the bumper support oh it's right um, you gotta get your uh, a Y pipe custom made you know where it sits somewhere around here then a down pipe goes down through the bottom there's a couple pictures on my you uh, actually a couple videos on my YouTube where you can see more detail um, you need your blow valve. Uh, I relocated this because it goes way down there. I relocated it here. I moved my battery to the trunk for more turbo space, which is right here. The battery goes there, and it's there. Um, you're going to need a boost gauge, a wideband gauge, and an oil gauge. The air fuel wideband is very important. Um, it's, mine's is connected about three feet, no, like probably, I would say probably three feet from down pipe down, three feet. Has to be in a certain angle. I don't think it could be straight on, I'm not sure. All right, but the most important things are uh, let me see. You see this right here? That's a vacuum block. And I I think that's the easiest way of connecting everything, like the blow off valve and your wastegate and boost gauge. Actually, not waste gauge, boost gauge. So from blow valve, it goes straight here with the bypass that should come with your blow valve, and it connects straight to there. And then this one is my boost gauge that goes inside the car. And then um, I have this, just an extra gauge I had laying around just to make sure I had oil, good oil pressure coming to here. Um, and depending on what turbo you get, you probably have to put a restrictor on it. Mine has a restrictor on it for not too much oil to spray inside. <clears throat> I got a, you know, a turbo blanket. Actually, I just got it today. Okay, you want to put one of these little filters on here. And what I did is uh, on this pipe, I just closed it off. You know, just, yeah, I didn't have to drill this hole, but I just drilled it and then closed it off. At this kind of auto, they sell a bunch of these uh plugs and then you definitely need to make one here because this one connects all the way to there on the factory settings this is how you have it these two connections on your factory uh, air intake box so this is pretty much factory settings just custom right there um, okay you have to get on your brake booster you have a check valve one-way check valve arrow going that way then it connects to the vacuum block then 
you know, it leads out to boost gauge, blow valve, and then then it connects to there into the intake. Okay. Then okay now for the catch can if you get a catch can here's a universal catch can uh, eBay works perfect you just have to make sure you seal this up seal it here here and take these screws out seal it um, what I did is uh, this doesn't matter which one doesn't matter really but um, one goes straight to the then it's dark I'm sorry well, it goes straight to the PVC valve that's right on the bottom of the intake. Uh, well, it's on the behind the valve cover. It uh, goes straight to here. And then the other one goes straight to the back of the intake manifold. And it has a check valve. And, it, and the arrow's pointing that way. Um, this is for the when you boost it the air doesn't go back it's important you put that on there um, let me see what else um, I mean you want to wrap your downpipe for sure oh I got a three inch exhaust all the way to the back all the way to you know all the way to the back um, there's a website called MES which is Madro exhaust system dot com mes dot com they're from Miami Florida and they sell all the pipings already um, measure bent and everything so pretty much all you have to do is take the piping to the exhaust shop or if you can do it yourself it comes with the clamps and everything so it's pretty easy and it's not that expensive um, you're gonna need upgraded injectors depending how much power you're going um, I just got some injectors from you know, Q45 or you can get it from uh, SRDT or from 300ZX the twin turbo injectors the Z32 model they all fit perfect on this motor um, the factory 370Z's all those I just named they're 370cc's you could about for 3 350 horsepower um, with the nice tune you could change the air fuel meter to uh, See, I still have the, the factory one, which as soon as my knee tune comes in, I'm switching it to uh, the N62, which is like off of a 240, uh, uh, not 240, a uh, SRDT, or, you know, you can, you can get more air in it with the knee tune. With this, you know, I've heard you could do 300 with this factory one, but I didn't take the chance. I just swapped it out. So pretty much you, you need, the number one thing you need is something to tune with. You know which I chose nice tune. I got my air fuel meter in the in the back. So as the nice tune comes in, I swap it out. I got the injectors. You need the intercooler, the intercooler piping, everything installed. You need an oil feed line. You need a oh and and a oil return line. If you go to my other YouTube channels, see the oil return line is right there. It goes all the way to the oil pan. You have to take the oil pan out, which is a pain in the butt, because because uh, you have to take off the cross member on the bottom that connects the the motor mounts so that means you have to hold the motor on top so when you pull it out you can take out the oil pan and you know might as well put new oil gasket oil pan gasket and you know clean it up and get it get it welded and um, like I said in my other videos you probably see better pictures or videos of, of all those specifics I'm just going through the quick details of what you really need so blow valve is one. Oh, <clears throat> I got a Chrysler Sebring's radiator fan. It's just one fan, big fan here, and this side is empty because of my downpipe it was in the way. Um, let me see. I'm probably, I'm probably going to take off the filter and run it with no filter, just put a screen. Or just run a pipe through here for to get a little colder air, keep it away from the heat. Uh, oh, white band. Here goes my white band I was telling you about. Innovate. Connects that down there. The main thing I will tell you is you want to make sure everything is, you know, try to keep the heat away from everything as possible. Anything you can wrap, wrap it. 
I still have to wrap my downpipe. Um, I just got this turbo blanket, but I mean, I, I almost messed up my wide band wire because the heat. I luckily I caught it on time. You know, but let me see. Do uh, I'm saying? I mean, everything I I've, I've I've bought. I mean, the air fuel meter got it on Craigslist for like 40 bucks. The injectors I got off a junkyard and uh, off a Q45 because um, they're the same injectors as this, as the SRDT DT. The turbo I got off of eBay, uh, Craigslist. The guy broke, blew his motor and he sold it. He was desperate. I got it for cheap for uh, like 150 and these sell brand new for like 350 So I got a good deal off of that. Um, everything else is just work, you know. You got to get the work done. The ma the money is 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 all in the the piping. To be honest, I got so lucky with the piping because there's a guy at the forum who he he's been you know I've been talking to him for years and he knows I've been wanting to do the turbo setup and you know he just uh, hooked me up with the with the downpipe. He had a VE but he crashed it. Thanks, Brad, if you watch this video. Um, and uh, you know I got a good price on it, so I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, so, it, it, you know, the money's going to come from the piping. You know, that's all where the time and money's going to come from, you know. Uh, I've got a quote for a stainless steel line, you know, custom piping for almost a thousand bucks. And, I mean, I, I, I was doing this on a budget. So, I actually was going to buy all the piping myself and just tack weld it and then get it, take it to the shop to get it welded. You know, uh, but I lucked out thanks to Brad, you know. But anyways, enough about that. Uh... You know, check valves, probably one of the most important things. Blow off valve, wastegate, turbo lines, the feed line, return line. With the oil, the sandwich plate, which is the oil adapter, um, get the three, the ones with the three connections with the one eighth connection inside, female. Um, one, one of them goes to the sending unit for the boot, for the oil gauge, one goes to the turbo line the other one is just blocked blocked off if I ever wanted to put some other gauge or something I can just put it but I don't need, need it right now so you know uh, let me see I these brackets you see this bracket right here you can buy those at Ace Hardware I'm holding that with my catch can and then I'm also holding using bra those brackets to hold the top of my intercooler on the on the on the bumper support and the bumper support, I actually cut, if you see the line up, if it, you see it, like the bumper support is like right here, somewhere around in behind this bumper. I cut a whole lot, you know, so the top is still on there, but I cut a whole lot and the bracket, you know, I just screwed, screwed it on the bracket here. And then on top of this intercooler, you could, there's already a, a welded um, connection. You can just screw it on there. So it holds pretty good, you know. Um, as for the intercooler piping, like I said, it goes from here, there. Um, you're probably gonna have to cut some, some from down here because these are, you know, BMW lights. So and you see, it goes straight down, and it actually, you see, it, it goes through there, and then. Um, this piping goes in there and you can't really tell too well but it goes up there and then it just goes straight down to the turbo um, what else can I show you here's the uh, piping Right See the piping? It's a big three inch. Goes all the way and it's perfectly bent. You see how it perfectly bent? And that's how it comes, you know? Perfect bent. No no kinks or nothing like that. It's pretty nice, right? Look at that sweet Um Other than that dude. You know. What I recommend is make sure your motor has good compression. Make sure, 
you know, your motor, that's the first thing before you even think about turbo is make sure your motor is running good. It took me a long time to get my car ready for, you know, for me to actually start the turbo setup. Um, because I didn't want to put a turbo on and worry about my motor blowing or worrying about you know getting axles or all that stuff you know I've had this car for like three four years and those three four years I literally just redid everything as much as possible uh, you know bushings brakes you know everything you could think of starter alternator you know interior I mean interior is optional but I just I wanted my car to be reliable first before I even wanted to mod it um, but you know it takes time no don't rush it this project this turbo project I started like a year ago um, and you know I've learned from experience you don't need to get name brand you know unless if you're gonna go crazy 500 horsepower or something crazy like that but I was just wanting a street reliable 300 350 horsepower car and now I got it I'm just waiting for my niece to to get it dynoed and I will show you videos I'll post that on Facebook and on maximum.org I'm Tony Jr. you got any questions I can make more videos uh, I'll put this on my YouTube channel just hit like subscribe like that you can see more videos in the future and uh, I just do this to help every uh, all my third gen friends out there you know it's a beautiful car dude for an old ass car it's nice you know I love building redoing old cars it's just I don't know but like I said any questions uh, let me know later